runny nose, itchy, watery eyes. If you've got some of those symptoms, chances are you know firsthand that it is allergy season. But going to the drugstore, filling up on all those prescription and over the drug counters, there are some other ways to combat the problem. And this is our expert to discuss some new natural options. Dr. Jamie Wallace, Chief Medical Officer at the Steer Center here in Wallingford. Uh, you know, when we think about allergies, I always think, oh, springtime. I don't think about the fall, but it's just as prevalent. People are really struggling right now. Yeah, absolutely. It's a big change in the seasons. In, in both spring and fall when those uh, new uh, agents that give us our symptoms show up and mm -hmm. so it's the time to prepare and, and uh, take some steps to try and minimize those symptoms. And some people who maybe have allergies in the spring won't have it in the fall or vice versa. Absolutely. Yeah, there, there are many, many hundreds of different things that people are allergic to. And you just learn over time what maybe irritates you? Well, yes. Uh, tincture <laughs> of time is uh, both healative and, and also uh, can give you more information. There's also some testing that people can do. Uh, but generally, people usually know what they're allergic mm -hmm. to, and uh, we kind of, they come in and talk to us, and we help them figure it out if they haven't gotten that so far. So let's talk about that process, figuring it out. Let, I mean, you got to manage. You still got to go to work. You right. got to go to school. You got to function. Let's talk about some of the products you have mm -hmm. here and what they could potentially do for people who are struggling and suffering at home right now. Right. Well, uh, a lot of people are familiar with antihistamines, mm -hmm. and so these are really uh, primarily sort of a natural antihistamine. They help uh, at a biochemical level to stabilize the cells that secrete the uh, inflammatory things that make us sneeze and cough mm -hmm. and water and all that. And so one of the classics here is uh, nettles, and it's pretty ironic because these are stinging nettles, and people know that go out in the woods so yeah. know about that. So you make a tea out of that, and that can really help. Okay. It's anti-inflammatory, and it also was uh, antihistamine. Uh, it also comes in uh, capsules That's for right those here. that don't, don't, don't want like to do the, the tea. Taste. Okay. Exactly. And then we have uh, uh, formulas with a lot of different herbs in them, and so this one over here uh, uh, has some nettles as well as some other uh, agents to help the immune system and uh, also decrease that inflammation. Uh, most folks might be familiar with vitamin C, so mm -hmm. here's a, a vitamin C that has some bioflavonoids, which are also uh, act as antihistamines. Are these okay to take even if you're not necessarily suffering from al from allergies right now? Well, yeah, we would we might prescribe these kinds of things for lots of different conditions because they all have many different actions. And mm -hmm. if you look at a lot of the texts, there are, you know maybe tens of different dozens of different things that they can help with. So all of these plants are really really versatile. Okay. And I do like to remind patients that uh, all the medications that you get in the drugstore originated as plants. Sure. And so these are the kinds. We we hear Claritin, yeah. we hear all that yeah. kind of stuff, and this is just a, a yeah. different option to right. it. These, these have been around for a long time, and they work really well. They mm -hmm. tend not to have side effects, and uh, they tend to help the symptoms a lot. But it's a multifactorial thing. The whole immune system's involved. So if you're not sleeping well, you're not getting mm -hmm. enough exercise, you're not eating well, you've got too much stress, getting up too early <laughs> to talk all to people. All those things we yeah, know yeah, right, we shouldn't exactly. do. Exactly. So all those are really, really critical to, to address those as well. And then from the treatment perspective, one of my favorites actually is the topical treatment, which is the neti pot. A lot so of folks are popular, familiar with these. Yeah. And there are a variety of different uh, 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 options for that, but essentially it's nasal irrigation and there are different solutions that you can use and that is probably one of the number one things. And most allergists and family doctors and naturopaths and others will recommend that. And so virtually every patient gets that Is this safe for kids too? Yeah, you have to be careful with kids. Depends mm -hmm. how old they are. Depends, you know, their cognitive abilities and sure. so forth. I have two children, so I'm <laughs> somewhat familiar with that. But there are a variety of different things that you can do to, uh, to adapt it for kids. Dr. Wallace, thank you so much. We really do appreciate your time. We know that uh, it is going to be a tough, tough time for a lot of people. So we appreciate this. This is just another option. We appreciate your time. And obviously Absolutely. people can contact you if they'd like some more information. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. All righty. Still